Good morning, River of Life. It's a joy to be with you. Spend a few moments just meditating and thinking on the Word of God. On Sunday, we continued our journey through the book of Joshua, uh, centered around the theme of taking possession. And as the Israelites step into the Promised Land, they cross through the Jordan. We see that incredible miracle taking place. God does a very strange thing. The very first thing He asked them to do is to think about sonship and to think about the next generation, to think about the fact that they are sons and daughters of God and that the next generation is crucially important. They are asked to build a memorial and we read about that in Joshua 4 verse 6 and 7 where it says that the reason for this memorial would be that when the children ask, what is this, what is this heap of rocks, that it would be an opportunity to share what happened at the Jordan, how God led them into the promised land. But you've got to be a son. and You have got to be a daughter. Before you can transfer and build that into the next generation, you need to first experience that for yourself. You need to know that you are a son, that you are a daughter, that you are secure in the love of the Father. And from that place, you can build that into the next generation. Psalm 127 says that we are, as children, we are like arrows and those arrows need to be shot and launched. As parents, our job is to launch our children further than we could ever go. Those arrows will enter into territory that the archer will never enter into. But a parent who's not secure, a parent who's not, who doesn't know that they are a son and they were a daughter and they're secure in the love of God, will never be able to launch their children. You ever wondered what the end goal of all of this is? We read some of the last verses in the book of Revelation. We get a glimpse of what God's heart is. Revelation 21 and verse 7 says, For all who are victorious will inherit these blessings, and I will be their God, and they will be my children. And we see that this is the, the heart's cry of God, is to have children, to have sons and to have daughters. And there's many incredible uh, beings, angels, and all sorts of incredible things in the book of Revelation. But God heart, God's heart yearns for sons and daughters. I'm going to close with this verse 1, John 3, verse 1. See how much our Father loves us, for He calls us His children. And that is what we are. We can talk about God's love, but it's not an abstract thing. It's not a mental exercise. It's not a calculation. God's love is about inviting us to be His children, to drawing us into that place where He is our Father and we are His sons and His daughters. I pray that you would be secure in your love within the Father, that you would know that you're a son and you're a daughter and that from that place you will stand secure in the promises of God but you will also, in a sense, lay down your life and launch the next generation to go further and experience more of what God has promised. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for your love. Oh Lord, just right now, I just lift my hands and I open my hands and I, I just receive, I breathe in again your love. Thank you that I am secure in your love. Thank you that I'm your son that I'm your daughter, and that nothing will ever change that. Pray for everyone listening. May we be rooted in this love. May we be founded, may we be secure in this love, knowing that we are your sons, and we are your daughters. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. May you know that you're a son and that you're a daughter.